any decision that I've made or any cap, uh, game that I've captained has always been um, with Cricket Australia and the selectors blessing and um, I think it's always been my job to try and do the best that I can and take the, the team forward. Um, the day has come for me to move on now and, and let someone else assume that responsibility. I felt the timing was absolutely perfect. Um, when you think about what we've got coming up, um, you know, we've got Bangladesh, obviously Sri Lanka will be a tough test match tour for us and one day tour for that matter and so will South Africa. So I wanted to make sure that the the person coming in had as much time as they possibly could to get themselves prepared uh, and get their um, their direction, I guess, and their focus on where they see the team going um, a, a, as much in place as possible. So, um, you know, that's, it's all been pretty rushed, really, um, since I arrived back and, and all, everything I've had to do with the, the thinking I've had to do, the, the conversations I've had to have, um, you know, the fact that a Bangladesh touring squad is going to be announced tomorrow, I needed to get on top of it with the selectors. So it's all been pretty rushed, but I'm very happy with the decision I've made and it will just give the, the next captain a great opportunity to, to put his fingerprints on the Australian cricket team. I've made the decision, I guess, hoping that I'll be selected in the squad tomorrow. Um, if, that, if that is the case and I am selected, then I'm looking forward to that. I'm looking forward to actually just playing as a player. Um, I'm looking forward to turning up the training and working as hard as I can and setting examples for everybody else and hopefully getting back to playing the way that I want to play and the way that I know I'm capable of playing. I'd like to think that through my playing time I've achieved a whole lot more than that though. Um, whether that be as a player or as a captain of this side. It's, it's funny how we talk about losing the Ashes three times. You know, winning, playing in three World Cup winning teams never comes up very often. Um, winning 16 consecutive test matches doesn't come up very often. Winning 30 odd consecutive World Cup games doesn't come up very, up very often. But that's the world we live in. Um, I know within myself and my teammates know and, and everyone at Cricket Australia knows what I've been able to achieve in the game as, and that's what I'm very proud of. The things that I've been able to achieve uh, as a captain, as a player, and with the players that I've played with are, are memories that I'll never forget. I think probably if I was to pick one, it would probably be the, the first World Cup uh, that I captained. Um, a relatively new captain going into that tournament. Uh, we, we, well, as everyone knows, we got through the tournament undefeated. Um, you know, I made a big hundred in the final, and to this day, that's probably one of the proudest moments of my career. As a, as a captain and as the most senior player in the team, I think that's where a lot of that responsibility should have, um, should have been. Um, you know, a lot of it, I guess, um, will come back onto the captain, but we've got great coaching structures around the team now. Obviously, the selectors doing, are doing the best job that they can to pick the right people for, for certain roles in the team. Um, so, yeah, I mean, it's, there's no doubt over the last few years uh, things have become harder around the team. Like, to, to, be, to captain the side when, when things aren't always going brilliantly or perfectly has been difficult. Um, batting at number three with that extra extra uh, workload, I guess, has been a little bit more difficult as well. But uh, you know, now that now that that's not the case, I actually I think by the time I, I get to Bangladesh, if if selected, uh, I'll have a, a bit of a load off my shoulders, and I can just really worry about preparing myself the best way possibly to to be the best player that I can be for the next period of time. No, I've never I'll never lose lose belief in anything that I can do on a cricket field or around a cricket team. If I, I think if I lost that belief, I think it'd be a waste of time me me going on and playing anymore. Um, that's the way that I look at it. I, I still think, as I've said a number of times, and I'll continue to say, I, I believe that with the experience I have in the, in the international game, that um, you know, with my cricket skills aside, the way that I the way that I understand the game, I think will be very beneficial to to everybody um, involved in the Australian cricket teams that I play in for the next couple of years. It's not up to me because the captain picks the batting order, so <laughs> I'll be being told, I guess, where I'm going to be batting for the next little bit. But uh, yeah, good question. Um, you know, I was asked a lot about that uh, at the end of the Ashes series, if I felt um, the number three spot was still the best place for me to bat. Um, I still believe it is, but uh, we'll wait and see what the, the next captain's got to, got to say about that. I would have liked to have won an Ashes series away. That would have been a nice thing to have done as a, as a captain. I, and obviously sitting here today now, I've given up that opportunity to, to, to do that. So that's something that I would have loved to have been able to, to achieve. Um, as far as milestones and those sort of things are concerned, that, that's not the reason I play. The reason I play is to, is to win games for Australia. I, I love the contest of, of um, bowler against batsman, um, and I, I want to make sure that, if, if possible, I'm the one that's out there hitting the winning runs every game. Um, winning games of cricket has always been my motivation, and, and sharing great times with my, with my mates on the cricket field and maybe being able to help them win games of cricket for their country is, is the other motivating factor. So. Nothing's changed there. I haven't, I haven't put a finished date or time on, on when I, my international career is going to be over. Um, in all, you know, to tell the, the honest truth, I actually think the fact that I'm not cap captain anymore um, might give me a chance of actually playing better. It, I think it'll just keep me a bit mentally fresher than probably what I have been in the last couple of years. And I think if I'm mentally fresh and got my, 
my skills in reasonable order, then I, I think I'll um, be able to certainly bat better than I have in the last six months. So, yeah, look, well, there's, I won't ever write that off because I'd love to be able to go back there again and, and um, give it a crack at winning another, another Ashes series in England. But uh, we'll wait and see how my form is in the immediate future. Thank <laughs> you.